Ayasofya is the third Christian church, three times built in the same location. That means the building here, the current building, remained from 532, but initially built during the reign of Constantine the Great. In 337, he ordered the build Ayasofya church, but it was called Megala Iglesia, means big church, great church. Actually, the first church, which has ordered the build by Constantine the Great, destroyed by the rebels against the Emperor Arcadius. Because they were not happy with Emperor people in the city, they made a riot against the Emperor Arcadius in 404. In that riot, first church was called Megala Iglesia, born and down, because it was built with wooden roof, not with dome. Actually, Arcadius lost his crown in that time. His son, Theodosius II, became next emperor. He ordered to build second church, which was called Hagia Sophia, but it took 11 years to build. 415, it's open for the people, people for the prayer, for worship. But it was also built with wooden roof, not with dome. That second church, which, which has ordered to build by Theodosius II, destroyed again by the people in the city public against the emperor Justinian. The riot called Nika, Nike, which is means victory, because the riot took one week. Almost all people in the city, they were against the emperor. All imperial buildings destroyed. Imperial church, Hagia Sophia, Hagia Irene behind the wall over there, all burn and down. But end of the riot, one week later, almost, 35,000 people killed from Empire soldiers. When the riot finished, Justinian, he ordered to rebuild Hagia Sophia. That means that building that we are going to see remained from 532. And it was the first, most first church which has built with dome. That's the first example. If you look at Budi Mosques over there, it looked like same, right? Mm, yes. Because yeah. same technique, sir. Yeah. When the Turks conquered Constantinople, 1453, mm -hmm. they convert, they combined the Roman architecture with Ottoman yeah. to start to build such rich mosques. That means most look like Hagia Sophia. Yeah. Not to copy, to improve the techniques. Okay. But we are going to the inside. This is that means already 1500 years old. It's... To talk inside, it's a little bit disturb the people. They don't let it. That's why I give you information out. Some places I tell you, but okay. to the end, you will get your foot and I will explain you everything again soon. Okay. Merhaba, kolay gelsin. Merhaba. You need to put the orbit to the leader of the Orthodox throne was over there, like Catholic Pope. Orthodox Patriarch. Okay. You know, the Constantinople, it was the center of the Patriarch. Okay. That means the Russia, all other, you know, Greece, and all the places which were Orthodox belongs to the Constantinople before. Okay. And what you are going to see here, the building that I told you from, 1,500 years ago built, but the model that you have seen called Horasani. You know the Orasan in Iran today, Central Asia. Uh -huh. But the Orasan model is very interesting because same, Orasan. Yeah, same material of the bricks inside the folder. Uh, yeah. The bricks as much as strong like a concrete, also little elastic against the high pressure. Okay. You come from Pakistan. Pakistan. Five hundred thirty-two. Exactly. And it's the same. Everything is the same. Exactly. Let's write it during the Ottoman Empire, but the building filled in five hundred and thirty-two, and just took five and a half years. Wow. 
The first church to win four years to build, second, yeah. eleven, third one, just five and eight. Yeah. Yes, that's a high case. Because all the pillars downstairs, you are going to see recycled from old pagan temples. Okay. <laughs> five and a half years, it's worth. Their exactly. time is very less. I mean, you imagine the first technique it was. Oh. It's right. It's right. <laughs> Yes, great <coughs> <coughs> You see the green pillars all came from west of Anatot, okay. from old Greek town. Okay, this one? Yes, all the greens uh -huh. from Pergam, west of Turkey. Okay. Hola, yes. Look at that. Yeah. If you look at the marble panel, Seems like two, like a mirror, because mm -hmm. one more block of old marble, which has line and they cut it to open top like a mirror, like a, okay. like a butterfly. You can take it from your downstairs, sir. Mm -hmm. Here is that. So, you see the corner, there are two brown columns at the corner. Okay. Each corner has two from Egypt. Baalbek is from Egypt, Santan. There are white secure before, you see? Brown behind there is white. Mm -hmm. Those are from Baalbek Temple in Lebanon. Okay. You see the name, which are added during the Ottoman Empire when it's converted to mosque. Okay. Because Sultan Mohammed al Fatih or Sultan Mehmet II, 1453, conquered Constantinople. He converted the Hagia Sophia as a mosque. Mm. 416 years, almost, yes, 416 years ago. Which a mosque. year it was? 1453. Okay. Become mosque. Okay. 1935, by the order of Atatürk, became museum. Okay. You see the name of Allah, Muhammad, yes. four caliphs, Hassan and Hussein. Those yes. are the biggest name in the mosque. Mm -hmm. If you look at the window, you can see the small. Mm -hmm. Usually that size in the mosque, but for Hagia Sophia, they made it big. Mm -hmm. Bigger than the gate mm -hmm. down there. You see yeah. down there, the gate, which is big? Yeah. Imperial gate, so yeah. where the emperor entered the ceremony. Mm -hmm. If you look at the down, you see the circle marbles. Mm -hmm. Amphorion, which is near where the Roman Empire got crowned. Mm. All the coronation ceremony mm. they used to make in Hagia Sophia, because Hagia Sophia was an imperial mm. church, that's why. Mm. The mirror, if you look at to the left, the prayer niche, not in the middle, 12 degree to the right side, so, mm -hmm. because the niche of the church direction for Jerusalem. Okay, this one? But this one direction for Mecca, that's why yeah. 12 degree to the right side. Okay. If you look at the corner down, there is a marble jar white. Mm -hmm. so yeah. They are twins, the other one at the other corner, sir. Those are from Pergamon. But 1585, ordered or brought by Sultan Murat the mm Third. -hmm. They brought them put it here. There are taps on it, but not for ablation, to put water, summertime to drink, norm the Ramadan. They used to put inside sherbet, juice to drink. Opposite side down, you will see the library. Mm -hmm. 1739, ordered the built and added Sultan Mahmud the first. Okay. The small section in the middle, they were kind of class to teach the teenagers how to pray. Mm -hmm. Medresha, which is called Sukul, it was out of the palace, not in. I told you it was the first dome temple yeah. as a church. Yeah. yeah. Biggest still in Constantinople, also. Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Even the Ottoman architects, as a respect, they haven't tried to build bigger than that. Mm -hmm. 56 meters high, from down to top 56 meters. 56 meters, exactly. yeah. And 32 diameter. 32 meters is the diameter. Exactly. Okay. You see the angel. And they hand down yeah. the corner. If you look at the down, you see there is a wings. Okay. Four angels in the each pendant is called seraphim. Those seraphim angels in Christian belief protect the 
Lord throne in heaven. You can see the mosaics which are yellow. Okay. You see them? Those yeah. are all gold. Oh, all gold? Yes. Even the ceiling downstairs, the ceiling. If you look at to the corner left, mm -hmm. you see there's crosses down to the yeah. ceiling. Yeah. You see? Those are all mosaics from the Christian side. They haven't destroyed when they convert to the mosque. They just plastered. Oh. That's why 1935, when they took out the plastic, all the mosaics come alive that we could see now. Mm. And to make mosaics, they use glasses, but the yellow, all gold. Okay. You are going to see the, some mosaics. You will take the photo. I, later I will explain them. Okay. But uh, you are going to see the family mosaics. That means the royal family members' mosaics because they made a very big donation to the church. That's why their mosaics all of that. Even if enter get power, they order to make their mosaics. <laughs> Downstairs, the secure marbles for the coronation ceremony, right? Okay, yeah. The Empress washed the ceremonies balcony. Wow. That was the Empress Lodge, where the Empress yeah. washed the ceremonies. Yeah. Empress Lodge here, it was to wash the ceremonies. You see, downstairs near the niche, there is a place which is for secret for soup. To play. No, no, if you look at the cross, okay. the name of Muhammad Dawn, yeah. you see the place that was for Oh, okay. So the left side to the, yeah. It's the noble gate that we are going to enter here called Gate of Hell and Heaven. Heaven. Yeah, you see the marble gate over there. Okay. Gate of hell and heaven. But it was the gate for the synod. That means where the religious meetings mm -hmm. organized by the patriarch. Mm -hmm. And you are going to the right side of the gate when we enter. We are going to see best mosaic tunnels of these mosaics. The mosaic said the name this. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 It is what I will explain. You see another marble jar at the corner. Yeah. Okay. It's now. Again, you can see the other angel with face open. Yeah, this one. Okay. When it converts the most, they put the bronze plaque. But 2010, they open one of them to show the face. Oh. Other side, you can see the mosaics on the wall. Okay. Of the patriarch, they were the religious leaders. You are going to see that on the way. That which is written on the marble, it's Viking. Ah, it's Vikings. Yes. Holborn was here, it's written. Okay. Because 9th century to 13th century, there was a Vikings fighter. They were kind of gods, also for the 
And yeah, uh, it's what we watch in movies. <laughs> You take the photo, but get closer to the face and make a problem. <laughs> Those are the royal families that Empress Zhu, his husband Constantine the Ninth, nine, the other one, Komnen of Dynasty, but this is. Mm -hmm. We call these. Is that on you? Oh, that was not true. This is my mosaic. You are going to see the Jesus Christ in the middle, but the right, John the Baptist, we call Prophet Yahya, the last Virgin Mary. Oh, okay. This is the one known Jesus mosaics in the world. All the art history they show that Jesus. Another interesting book is here. This was a grave of Herod Custandolo, Latin crusaders. He was the chief buried here. Here, yes. But then it's over to the most all the skeleton pack taken out different ways. Mm. So the right one is the Jesus in the no, middle. In the middle, Jesus Christ. The right, right one is Prophet John the yeah, Baptist, yeah. Prophet Yahya, yeah, the last Virgin Mary. Mm. Virgin Mary on the last side. And one on this is Mosaic symbol. Okay. Gloria. Actually, all four, twelve all four, four crusaders. They occupied the city. Okay. This was Orthodox before, right? Yeah. But became Catholic. Okay. It was 57 years. It was a Latin Empire, not Byzantine or Eastern Roman Empire. Became Latin Empire. Okay. Then Kustandolo was the chief of them. He ordered the buried here, but he gave the very big damage to Aesop. Because they destroyed everything. They were dancing, mm -hmm. drinking, then convert to. Catholic Church. Right. But 57 years later, 1204, simply taken by the Palelagos dynasty from his exile of Marmara region, became again Eastern Roman Empire and also Orthodox Church. But 57 years, Latin took everything which is makes money from the city Byzantium to Europe. Even if you go to Europe, Venice, you are going to see many stuff from Constantinople, from 13th century. Okay. Then this is mosaics also from 13th century, Latin crusaders period they ate. Mm -hmm. Did you get the photo of the e? mosaic which I told you get me yeah. to do? Uh, yeah. Open that, I will show you something to explain. It was the first photoshop. <laughs> oh. Yes. Open okay. and I, you will understand. Look. Yeah. So, yes, this is the Zoom. You see the neck restored because the body, first husband of her, uh -huh. because when their husband changed, they didn't want to make all mosaic, just the hat they took out, made the second one. But this is belongs to the third husband of him, her. Okay. This is Constantine the nine. He was a general, he got married, became third husband, became emperor. Second one, second called Romanus, sorry, Romanus the second, first called Romanus the first. 
Okay. She got three times married because the father of Zoe, Constantine the Eighth, he was the father. Okay, mm -hmm. but he had no son. Okay, he had two daughters, Zoe and Theodora. Okay, and she got she was the oldest. That's why she got married. Her husband became emperor. Okay, he got three times married. Her face always changed. But we are going to see the. Mosaic of Constantine, the founder of the city Constantinople, and who ordered the build? This one, Justinia. They are mosaics over there, you see? Vision Mary in the middle of David Christ. Right one, Constantine, who is handled the castle, represents the Constantinople. The lap who is hanging, that's Ayasophi. If you take out the minaret, it's like so. Okay. This is called Bridge for Gate. If you look at here, it goes down because it couldn't fix the gate mm. because this gate older than the ISO. This is 2,000 years old more. From okay. Persia, south of Turkey, they brought from the old pagan temple. Yeah. Here. The, the mosaics that you have seen here, right side with the, the holding the castle, represents the Constantinople, which is surrounded by high walls. Constantine the Great. Left who is hanging the building, if you take out the minaret Hagia Sophia, seems like that. Who ordered the build last building Hagia Sophia here? Emperor Justinian. One from 4th century, 337 who built. The other one from 532. By the time of Constantine, people became pagan, like Greek or Roman. After Constantine, they became Christian, during the Constantine period, they start to build churches. But this is not the oldest. There is a studio monastery. Monastery. It's from 4th century, which is Rumi. The old church, which uh, which have been built during the reign of Constantine, they are not Rumi. You know who conquered the Constantinople? Sultan Muhammad al party. Mm -hmm. He has a mosque, which is like yes. an... Uh, have you been? No, I'll go there. Actually, before that most there was a Havarian church. Havarian means the apostles. You know, the Jesus Christ has the 12 apostles. Uh -huh. That church called Apostles Church. On most, the conqueror Fatima most built on the Havarian church. Even the Constantine the Great buried in front of that building underneath of the Sultan Muhammad al -Fat. Oh. Okay. My yeah. tour is finished, but if you have any question, I'd like to explain and give you information. So, oh. so the Sultan Mosque is it's over how, there. It's how old it is there? This is 400 years old. 400 years. This is 1616. Uh -huh. But this one from 532. Yeah. That means more than 1000 years between. Oh. Okay. Sultan Ahmed, he was the 14th Ottoman Sultan who ordered to build that one. Okay. He got crown 16 of 3, ruled 14, but he was 14 years old, became Many. Sultan uh -huh. 16 of 3, ruled 14 years, uh -huh. 16, 17, when he was 28 years old, he passed away. Oh. If you imagine, just 14, 14 years old. 14 years, and he was huh? so young. Exactly, yeah. 28 he was. Yeah. In 14 years, he built that mosque. So how he passed away? Okay. Natural death or he was... Killed. No, no, not killed because of the sickness. Sickness, exactly. Okay. Sure when that. he passed away, if you imagine, he left five sons. Oh. <laughs> the eldest called Osman II, who became next Sultan, 1617. Uh -huh. But before his son, his brother got crowned to became an ex Sultan, uh -huh. Mustafa I. First. Uh -huh. first time in Ottoman history, 1617, brother became Sultan because it was always father to son. Father to but son. Your, their, your, his children were small. Yeah. 13, 12, the oldest in the family was Mustafa, his brother. Uh -huh. First time in 16, 17, brother became. <laughs>
Ayakkabılarını görüyor musun? Ya git. 